I'm Karen Elgersma in downtown Victoria, and we are going to do a little kung fu for you today. We teach a style called Wing Chun Kung Fu. And this style is, um, I guess in terms of Kung Fu, it's a modern Kung Fu in that it's only 400 years old instead of several thousand. And is also invented by a woman. If you knew the right technique, you could defend yourself even against a man who's bigger and stronger. It's, it's a bit unique that way. It is in that it's really designed for someone of smaller stature, someone who's not muscle bound and has a lot of aggression, but someone who uses lots of different attributes to actually deal with a person's aggressive energy. Now you're a student here. What made you decide to take this, uh, the, to start in a Kung Fu program? You know, I think the reason for starting, and in hindsight, things change a lot. Um, the cool, fast motions, the wooden dummy, the knives, the, the glory of standing there with a smile and being able to deal with somebody really, really attracted to me. Um, as years passed, it started trickling down into my life, into my work, into my relationships. Wow. So the aspects you can use for everyday life, it's not just the physical being of it. What does it mean to you as a woman to be able to take um, and, and learn a martial art that honors a woman's size, a woman's body, a woman's technique? Uh, I've, I've been taking martial arts for many, many years, um, but I really decided that I wanted to take something that wasn't as hard on my body. And um, I like that this is really effective and it's not really based on physical strength or size, which is great. I love Wing Chun itself because, as Christina says, it, you train not to use, use your muscles as much, use your body structure and your technique. So, uh, like growing up doing judo, a lot of it is strength, and I want something more practical to learn. So, if I was attacked on the streets or something, I, as a female, I could defend myself. Well, Wing Chun Kung Fu is a self defense system based on some theories, on some principles, and some attributes. And we have forms, we have drills, we have all kinds of exercises that help us embody and deepen those principles, theories, and attributes in the way that we move. So the basic theories of Wing Chun is learning how to control the center line, your center line, which is the vertical axis of your body projected forward. The second theory in Wing Chun is the energy that I use is mostly going to be straight line theory. And there's some benefits around that. As we all know, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So for someone who's smaller, doesn't have a lot of maybe physical strength, I need to be really smart, really tactical, really strategic in the way that I train martial arts. The feminine nature of this art is the sensitivity, so that I develop very subtle awareness of the movements and pressure of my opponent moving on me so that I can feel them sooner, react quicker, and do my business. So we're trying to integrate and harmonize straight line, center line, energetic sensitivity with timing, with balance, with power. Tell us um, what you're going to show our viewers right now. So I'm going to show you in about a minute and a half what it will take you about five to ten years to master if you were to come and learn the entire art. Great, thank you. What a great opportunity to come here and learn about what you guys do. You are amazing. I could watch you all day. Uh, Thank you so much, and I want to thank the class for letting us come in and be part of this today, and thank you for watching.